Okay, moving on from that. Moving on from that final clubbing thing. This is courtesy of LSD XOXO. He has declared no more techno in 2024. And you know what? As much as this guy has ulterior motives for saying this because, you know, I reported before on the pod, he had that really fucking interesting passer with some of the fucking Bergheim people when you accused them of being racist. <laughs> Honestly, I love LSDXOXO. So he's fucking the best. He said, yeah, racist. You guys are racist. You know, like he really fucking threw a wrench in their fucking work and got them all fucking in the tizzy in the forums and stuff. But I kind of get what he's saying because in general, I have to be honest, like, We've had a really good time in London with clubs. Clubs are pretty good now in terms of the parties. The, no, sorry. The clubs are okay, but the parties are the best. Obviously, Fold's still the best club. Venue MOT might be the second best. Maybe Colour Factory also. There's not a lot of great clubs, really. One only in Fold. The rest of them are kind of occupying the same sort of like second to third tier. But we have a lot of great parties, of great promoters and stuff, doing great events. I obviously keep talking about Hotbox all the time, but Hotbox London, one of the, my favourite events I've been to in London so far. Great, doing amazing things for the most part, right? Love it, love it, love it, love it. But even I have to be, even I have to confess, I'm getting kind of tired of techno, especially the same boring do 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 version of techno. Everyone's wearing a harness. Everyone's got Dr. Martin boots on. Everyone looks really serious and dark. Everyone's got fucking dark eyeshadow on. Crazy hair. Weird tattoos and shit. Like the fucking techno Viking dance. I'm tired of it. The techno shuffle. I'm tired of it. No groove. No fucking rhythm. Just straight boom, 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 boom. It's like, come on, enough. There's not enough love, sensitivity, subtlety, you know, just bounce. It's just all the same shit. And I have to be honest, I'm kind of bored of it myself. There's probably, I'm, I know if I'd ever say this, there's probably too much techno in London right now and probably too much of that dark black techno shit around in general. It's just a bit too much for me. And probably Berlin's a good example of it. They probably have too much techno. I want to see an introduction of a little bit more house some disco, some new disco, some jazz, even, even, even if you don't want to go that far, even if you don't want to go that far, how about some electro, it's techno adjacent, some electronic body music, EBM, it's adjacent, drum and bass, it's adjacent, jungle, adjacent, but at least it just gives you a different type of vibe, because now I'm starting to understand why people like EDM, I'm not going to lie. Now I'm starting to get it. Because at least with EDM, you get different types of vibes. You might get the EDM where it's like, it sounds like a football stadium. You might get the EDM that sounds like a festival. You might get EDM with your favorite hip hop track, with your favorite pop sample. Like it gives you different kind of vibes. But with fucking techno, it's just, oh, 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 oh. it's just the same fucking shit. So formulaic, bro. Especially nowadays with the whole fucking super fast tempo, with the whole Euro trash shit. It's just, now I honestly, I used to take the piss out of EDM parties and raves, but now I get the EDM thing. Even though it's a bit corny and cringe and whatever, at least they give you different flows, different vibes. You get, you get something there. You see a production. There's fucking LEDs and screen projections and stuff and like, you know, augmented reality type of shit going on. At least you get some fun. You see fucking cute girls in little skimpy outfits and stuff and boys with their tops off going, oh, right? Gurning, like at least it's a vibe, at least, at least. Whereas the techno is just like the same old fucking shit again and again and again and again and again. So maybe I agree with LSDXOXO here. Maybe no techno 2024. And maybe 2024, as he says here, is about jungle, jazz, and R&B. Especially R&B. When's the last time you've been to a nightclub and you heard R&B? When? When? And we might have some of the best type of R&B to play in the nightclub now. Right? All this fucking, you know, singing underwater type of shit. Right? Like, R&B now occupies what? BPMs of like 80 to 110 nowadays. It's not even as slow as it used to be. 
right? Most R and B now, you could probably there's probably a scissor track out there that's like 120 BPM. Probably. You could probably play a scissor track that's 120 BPM now. So why don't we hear more R and B? Exactly. You know why we don't hear more R and B? Because there's not enough black people on the fucking dance floor. That's why, eh? It all comes back around. We were kings. Where are we, eh? You're not going to get groove and shit on the dance floor, are you, right? Fucking, you know, I'm not going to say their names, but, you know, Hector Oaks ain't, Hector Oaks ain't going to fucking play Summer Walker, is he? Let's be real, right? Hector Oaks is not going to fucking play Frank Ocean. So you need me, you need us fucking kings to fucking play it. So maybe let's let's the XXO has a point there. You feel me? Oh, fed up, tired, bored, crazy.